CAD stands for Computer Aided Design and CAG stands for Computer Aided Graphics. These are terms we'll be using throughout the graphics course. We use CAD to enhance our designs and methods of production. CAD can be split up into two different categories. We've got 2D and 3D. 2D is normally where we will look at um, CAD drawings and 3D is where we will look at uh, CAD models. Technology is advancing so much that the use of CAD has improved how graphics are produced and has resu resulted in higher quality pieces of digital media graphics and desktop publishing items. This has also replaced manual methods such as using drawing boards and instruments. Advantages of CAD and CAG One of the main things is standardisation and this is because many companies work together on projects so that it's important for everyone to be able to understand items that have been produced and most softwares have this already built into them as a preset standard such as British Standards or BSI that you will use throughout the course. It's also important to note that commonly used file types are used to ensure that there's a common layout used which has the same standard and quality. Another advantage is speed. Software packages and training can cost the company a significant amount of money but in the, they invest in this to increase the overall production speed. Another advantage is ease of modification. With manual work, if there are changes or updates needed, it takes a significant amount of time to update a technical drawing manually. But using CAD software is much faster to make changes to the digital drawing, which saves time and money. Storage and retrieval is another advantage of CAD and CAG. CAD files can be stored in a number of different places, for example, an individual's computer, a shared network drive, and also cloud drives. This allows files to be stored in an organised manner, incre increasing the ease of access and ability to share files. Enhancing and formatting drawings. Once a part has been made in a 3D modelling programme, it's easy to generate a range of drawings files for this part. All information is taken from this part and can be included within the different files. For example, assembly, sectional, detail or exploded views. Drawings can be changed to show different scales or orientation without having to start a brand new drawing each time. A library. In CAD, we use a library which is a bank of parts that are commonly used to save time when creating a 3D model. This means a part can be inserted multiple times instead of creating lots of the same part. Libraries can be in the form of 2D and 3D parts and can be used for things like nuts, bolts and screws. These parts can be used in a number of different designs or drawings. Advanced capabilities. Advancements in technology allow us to, to create a more realistic appearance of physical materials and properties for a 3D model. This allows CAD models to be shown to clients, tested and evaluated much sooner. The model is more realistic and is less expensive than a physical model. CAD allows us to share files easily. We can do this within a company network and via the internet a number of different ways, for example email. This allows companies to work alongside specialist workers from around the world much easier. Now we're going to look at some disadvantages of CAD and CAG. To start off with, we look at high initial investment. It is expensive for companies to buy both hardware and software at the beginning. Their employees will then need to be trained on this new hardware or software, which will cost the company time and money. Unfortunately, sometimes data can be lost. In some cases, computers can be hacked and files are destroyed or stolen. Some computers can pick up viruses via the internet or email causing loss of data. And finally, because files are stored digitally and computers require electricity, power cuts can cause implications. If a power cut occurs and work hasn't been saved, or in some cases it could cause damage to the network it's stored on. Other barriers. Unfortunately, most CAD packages do not allow for files to be worked on simultaneously, which means it's important to make sure you're working on the most up-to-date file. Another could be that you might have a language communication barrier. Sometimes it's important to convert an existing manual graphic into a digital graphic format. There are a few choices for designers or engineers on how to do this. They could scan the originals or redraw them as a new CAD file. Both options have their own advantages and disadvantages. For redrawing graphics, drawings can be completely remade. There are some advantages to this. It could be the option to add in layers, the ability to edit or modify files easily, they could be used as part of a simulation um, and they have smaller file sizes.
Some disadvantages are that it's very time consuming to recreate every single drawing or graphic made. Unfortunately, mistakes could be made during this process, which means you would need to restart. The use of scanning graphics are that the files can be shared easily and can also be viewed on most electronic devices. Disadvantages to scanning would be that these files cannot be edited and tend to create a large file size since it's commonly saved as an image file. Scanning can only really produce faster graphics which might not give the quality you are looking to achieve. Physical drawings could be a large drawing size, meaning the page would need to be scanned in sections and then pieced together.